Well, hello everyone, I'm Yanni from bu for You Gaming and today we are back in the Dream Machine. So, I'm still not quite sure what to do about that uh, hidden door, but I thought we could just try out some things like turning on the water. Uh, is that gonna tell us anything? Turn off water? No. Hmm. Okay, so we can't like fill some stuff with water, it seems. Hmm. Can we use this? Let's see, there were some books up here. Can we use a book on one of the books? Rubbing them together won't produce anything useful. Hmm. I was hoping we could kind of um, use them to try and interpret the dreams, but that didn't seem to work. Uh, February 4th, 1972, we have a radio, we have a small book. Um, electric water boiler. Huh. It's not like we can like do stuff with these things. Um, ink pad. Just thinking maybe we could use some of this with the water, but mm, can't really come up with anything. Yeah. Um, and we don't have um, whatever here's your nod, but that would only make the entries hard to read. Yep. Uh, yeah, bottle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, okay, so would the books help us in any way? So, the moon and the stars and the eye and something with a blue tint. Oh, doesn't really tell me much of anything. Oh, there's a difference. This shelf contains books on repairs and maintenance. These are mostly binders with business-related paperwork. These binders say receipts and invoices. Some of these binders date back to the 1920s. Huh. Uh, can we use this with this? I'd rather hold on to it. Okay, I was hoping we could find uh, maybe something that fit the, the date on this. Mm. Mm, see, it's business related. No. Do, do, do. That's not the carpet or anything. No. Okay, we haven't been anything in here then. Now that's a full bookcase. Okay, examine shelf. Seems to be reading lots of books about dreams and sleep, sleep studies. Yep. Some of these books look like they're over a hundred years old. Aha! Okay, that can could be used to measure angles, but apparently we can't access it. Examine shelf, examine button. Pick up dream journal, 1972 moon, 75 wave, and sun. Oh, now there's five buttons and. <laughs> This seems to be some kind of button. Yeah. Hmm. 
So are these related to... Hmm. The secret door, or are they not? Okay. Oh, there are five hooks and there are five buttons. So let's see. Seventy three, seventy four, seventy two, seventy five, seventy one. If February fourth, nineteen seventy two. Dream Journal, 1972, The Moon, okay, uh, what was it, I've already forgotten, <laughs> short time memory, short time memory is really bad, February 4th, okay, February 4th, there we go, yeah, let's Go back. There we go. February 4th, 1972. What a strange dream. I was frightened by the fact that the sun was missing. Waves fell gently on some faraway beach. The stars turned on me. Then a moon-shaped package arrived. My heart sang a beautiful song. I have to say it feels better having written this down. Hmm. Um. That teach teaching us anything. I'm just missing. Uh -huh. uh, are we talking about people or something? I was frightened by the fact that the sun was missing. That would be one of the books, right? Sun. Waves fell gently on some faraway beach. I'm not sure what that means, but Waves is another book. The stars turned on me. Uh, mm -hmm. And then a moon-shaped package arrived. Oh, my heart sang a beautiful song. I have to say it feels better having... Okay. What's missing? Okay, so if we start with the sun, and then the waves, and then the stars, then the moon, uh, and what was, what is the last one, the master heart, what is, that was one too, right? So is this the order of the way we need to push, put in the books, maybe? Diamond shelves. Here yeah, we have five and we have five. So we have a oh, dream. Okay, sun, wave, moon, heart, and star. Okay, let's see. Sun. Uh, take you and put you down here. Uh huh. Then waves. And then we have waves. Mm. Have more. Oh, there we go. Wave. Put you there. Uh, star. Put you there. And moon and then heart. Mm. Oh. Ooh, okay. Interesting. Oh, it's an elevator. Okay, creepy. Ah. Okay, well, that is awesome. Uh, there's another elevator here. Maybe now we can get down into the basement or something. And it looks really good. We have to stop. They just found the camera. The police are probably on their way right now. Uh, yeah, but I'm not sure if we can get back out. Okay. That looks like where they would be looking at 
So there's a bed right there, that could be our room. Huh. No control room. Interesting. You use palm print reader, that's probably not gonna help. No, that's unacceptable. We can't have another Travis incident. That was hard enough to cover up as it was. These are people with friends and families. Somebody's bound to miss them eventually. <laughs> I'm so confused. Uh, okay. Uh, old elevator. Uh, oh, into machine room. Well, I want to see if the door is locked now. It's closed shut. I can't see any locks or handles. I had a feeling. You will probably need a key or something for this. Seems to require a key. Yep. Okay, go to the machine room. Oh no, I refuse to do that. I should have unplugged you years ago. This ends now. Wait. What are you doing? No, stop. He fell asleep. Oh, is this like the sleeping experiment thing? It's some kind of machine. It looks intimidating. Yep. Huh. Okay, examine control panel. Hmm. It seems to be a power indicator of some kind. Six of the lights are lit up, but I don't know what that signifies. Um, well, there's six apartments, aren't there? I don't know if that has to do with anything, but... Um, like... The, that one is red, that would be where... Mr. Morton works could be okay, the top two ones are green so they that might, might mean that they are like sleeping on the top floor maybe or it's the other way around I don't know <laughs> but one of them would be sleeping during the day right and the other one was yeah Handicapped or something, I can't remember. Examine Mr. Morden. Mr. Morden appears to be sleeping. I'm unable to wake him up. What happened to him? Oh, okay. Ooh, okay. Um, REM state inducer, synaptic ribbon decalcifier. Well, REM state, that's like REM sleep. Uh, Thalamus stimulator, that's the, some part of the brain. Synaptic sender device. Uh, okay, so you send some kind of uh, signal through the synapses. Power supply indicator. Uh huh. That's the one we were just looking at. This is the machine. Okay, so this one sends a signal synapses. This one is a receiver device. Okay, pineal gland stimulator. Wow, neural oscillation monitor, melatonin inhibitor. Oh, melatonin. I do believe that's like a, a hormone or something, or like some kind of uh, yeah, it's a, uh, some kind of signal or something in the body. I can't remember. Um, brain wave sync unit. Okay. And. Ah. Interesting. So. We have one going out there, we have one going out there. Uh, examine. Oh, was there something else that we could. Felt like we got another. Up for a second, maybe I was just Mr. Morton. Okay, pick up right device, pick up left device. Uh, okay, 
uh, examine sender device. It's a sender on this one. And receiver on this one. Okay. on the machine. It doesn't fit on the machine as it's supposed to be used on us. Okay, what if we can we use it? Okay, send the device. Examine machine. Uh -huh. uh, where was the yep. Hello, yep. Uh, panel. Uh, it still looks like the same. him the other one. Oh, 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 I just got an idea. Okay, send a device, and what if we use this? That seems to have triggered something. It's blurry, but I think I'm seeing. What was that? I'm not sure I want to. Ow, oh, that hurts. Ooh. Mm, where am I? What is this place? Mr. Morton, are you in here? I guess he must be. Ooh, have we ended his dreams or something now? Ooh, bloodstain, that's not good. It looks like a bloody handprint. The sun is missing in here. That is one thing. Mm. And you can't do anything? Nope. Mm. Into that bottle. Oh uh, well, I guess there's not much else we can do. Ooh. Gem statue. It's a large stone statue of some kind. It bears a slight resemblance to Mr. Morton. Yeah. Two. And the bottle, and the bottle, and the bottle. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> so did you just say something? I can't understand what you're trying to tell me. What is this place? Yeah, a lot of X's. Are you trying to Morse code me or something? I guess it must be broken somehow. X, 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 X. Okay, should we just note that down in case it's relevant? I have no idea if it is. Just makes me think of Morse code, which I don't remember any of, even though I was a scout a long time ago. Um, and then, like, four small X's and two X's. Uh, yep, okay. Oh, there's a hatch. Ooh. Examine. Ew, shrunk rod. Oh, this one looks to be broken. That didn't sound right. Whatever this thing is, it isn't tuned right. Huh. 
So this rod is bent, but I can't bend it back with my bare hands. Hmm. No, we're gonna need something else for that. Okay. I talk to you now. It's probably still the same. Yep. Hmm. Mm. Oh. This is so creepy. It's the remains of someone long since gone. From the looks of these tools, he used to be a blacksmith while he was still alive. And we just stole his glasses. Uh... Oh, we can remove the lenses. Okay. These glasses are useless now. I'll get rid of them. Okay. This is the lens I removed from the glasses. This is the lens I went. Yes. <laughs> oh, seriously. Okay, well, let's take the hammer. This hammer looks handmade and very, very old. Yes. And, oh, we could pick it up. Well, I did want to use it to see if we could uh, bend that thing back in shape. Oh. Okay. Anything else we can do? Mm, doesn't seem like it. Let's go down here. Okay, well... Uh, can we use this with this? I need to place the animal somewhere first. I'll just place it on the ground. There we go. Okay, and then we use the hammer. Oh, there we go, pick up straight rod, yes, let's take that again, and examine the hatch, and then we can put you back in there, okay, let's see if that made a difference, who goes there, why have you disturbed me in my sleep? My name is Victor Neff, sir. I don't know where I am. You're standing right in front of me. That is where you are. <laughs> but what is this place? It's a shrine. To what? To me? Is this place real? Are you real? Am I? What separates a real place from an unreal? That it seems real to your senses, that it feels real when you tread its grounds. In that case, this place is very real. Who are you? I'm a symbol, a tribute, and a memory. All at once? Yes. You're not being very helpful. Neither are you. <laughs> Actually, I fixed your vocal cords, or whatever those rods in your throat are. Yes, yes, I guess you did. So? So what? You owe me some answers. What would you like to know? Who are you really? My name was Ainsley Morton. Was? Yes, I died quite a while ago, I'm afraid. What you see in front of you isn't actually me. Then what is it? It's a monument. Have you seen a shifty looking older guy walk past here? I'm asleep mostly. I don't see much of anything. Who are you looking for? A guy called Felix Morton. I have reason to believe he's in here somewhere. Felix? What has he done now, the useless prat? You know him? Of course I do. He's my grandson. I wish he wasn't, but a rotten egg is better than no egg at all. You don't like your own grandson. No, he lacks conviction. He'll be the end of it all. It's his father's fault, really. Too soft, too soft on him, you see. Me, I tried to cane him, cane him any chance I got. Okay. Uh, you physically abused your grandson. It builds character. I tried to beat some sense into the boy, but his father was too soft, I tell you. 
too damn soft. Have you seen your grandson recently? I'm mostly asleep these days. If he walked past here, he had the common courtesy not to wake me up, unlike some people. Also, he doesn't talk to me much anymore. What do you know about him? He was a useless mongrel then, and he's probably just as useless now. Whatever your beef is with young Felix, I suggest you let it rest. Trying to get sensible answers out of that boy is like trying to milk a stone. He doesn't owe you money, does he? No, it's not about money. Then you can count your lucky blessings about one thing at least. Now, if you'll excuse me, my eternal sleep is well deserved and long overdue. No, wait. If Felix is in here, how can I find him? The correct order will lead you there. Order of what? That's all you'll get from me. Good luck, Mr. Neff. Well, I guess the correct order of these ones. Um. Okay, well, examine lenses. Can we do something with them? It works as a magnifying glass, but I need to be more specific in where to use it. Magnifying glass. Uh, yeah, I'm not quite sure. Okay, let's go through this one. Oh! That looks like a baby. Creepy. Hello, who are you? My name is Victor Neff, sir. Sorry, what's that? I said my name is Victor Neff. I can't hear a word you're saying, I'm sorry. Huh. Maybe it's just me that thought that looked a little baby-like. Okay, let's see, can we do something here? Examine ear. Mm -hmm. A bunch of rocks seem to be blocking the ear canal. Okay, there we go. That feels better. What did you do? I removed some rocks from your ear canal. Sorry, what's that? Your ear canal was clogged. I can hardly hear you, but whatever you did before seems to have made it better. Keep at it. Okay. Mm. okay, well, if we use, what if we use this here? Lenses only improve eyesight. Yeah, but that's what, kind of what I wanted. Just to see if we could see something down there. Okay, let's see. Do statue, do we have any other compact? anything it doesn't look like it does it hmm. uh, I mean, I do 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 Okay. Do, 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 do. And me, if it. No? How oh, can we break the racks, maybe? I don't want to destroy them, the racks might be useful. Hmm. Oh! Uh, examine stirrup stone? The stone is vaguely stirrup shaped. What is it? Stirrup? Oh, I don't know. Maybe we can use it in the ear. Uh, it does look like one of those uh, ear... Yeah, I don't know what they call... What do they call in English? Mm, to help improve hearing. Huh. See if that helped. 
That feels bitter. What did you do? I removed some rocks from your ear canal. Sorry, what's that? Your ear, ear canal was clogged. I can hardly hear you, but whatever you did before seems to have made it better. Keep at it. Okay, so that was not enough. Hmm. Mm. No, I don't want to put them back in. I use this. I don't know what that would help. Uh. Doesn't seem to do anything. Perhaps I'm picking it up. Mm. Okay, let's leave it there for now. And uh, okay, so we came from there, right? Let's go back. Damn. Okay, maybe we didn't come from there. <laughs> And then we're here. Aha, okay. So we might not necessarily end up where we want it. So the first one is gonna lead to all those. Okay, let's do this one then. See where that ends up. Okay, then we end up over here. Mm-hmm. And what if we take the first one then? Oh, that may end up there. And if we go back, then we actually end up here. Cool. What if we take the second one? Oh, then we end up there. And what if we go back through this one? Then we end up here too. This is so confusing. Okay, let's go through this one then. Mm -hmm. Ew, there's some stuff here that I could do, so let's open hatch. Oh, press fifth. Oh no. Third, seventh. Hmm, okay. Seven plates. There's a chalk line drawing on the back wall. It vaguely rem resembles an eye. Uh huh. Okay. Do -do 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 -do. Can we use this here? Perfectly visible. I don't need to magnify it. Okay. Um, well, there's seven different ones. Could use the rugs. We're gonna press some of this down. Oh, can we put these in here? Oh, that might make the marking unreadable. Well, it just looks like an eye. It's not really. Okay. Have you heard anything about seven? What if we try and put them down here? Ooh, that's what I was kind of thinking. But oh, did that do something? Okay, let's look at this again. The latch. Yep, it looks like Mr. Morton, and apparently it doesn't want to wake up and us. Uh, doesn't look like there's anything else we can do. Okay, so we need the rocks in here. Mm, but seven different ones. That is gonna... Yeah. Unless it's something very simple. And it takes a while to... That, that's like almost impossible. <laughs> There's so many options. Yeah, it doesn't look like that did anything. Hmm. I'm thinking about the dreams in the books, but... Um, we don't have access to those at the moment. 
Okay, well, let's try and go through this one. And then we're over by you again. That brings us over here. That brought us over here. There's nothing here that we missed, right? I can't really see anything. Seven, seven, seven. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, we're not getting any more out of you. Mm. And we can't take these. No. Use that. What if we go up here? Is there something you missed? The tunnel? Them for ourselves. something because this looks like a ring and this looks like a ring okay Ooh. who goes there my name is Victor Neff sir and why have you disturbed me in my sleep Victor Neff I'm sorry sir I'm trying to find someone but I don't know where I am what is this place tell you what if you do me a favor I'll give you the answers you seek what do you want me to do I can barely see you down there, Victor. My eyes aren't what they used to be. If you help me to see sharply again, I'll answer your questions. Deal. Oh, that's awesome. Deal. I'll be here if you need me. Okay. Uh, left lens. So that would be over here, right? Oh, that's right eye. Uh, that's not the right eye. It, well, it's right for me, but it's the left one for him, so... Okay. I'm an eye. This eye should be able to see clearly now. Okay. Left eye. Well. Yep. So that's what you look like, Victor. Is that what passes for a hairstyle these days? I guess so. The things have certainly changed since my day, but thank you for helping me see. So we're in the realm where ideas come from? Yes, among other things. Every person has their own allotted piece of this place. But the pieces overlap and every piece is part of a greater whole, the shared unconscious. Now tell me, what do you require of me? I'm trying to find a man called Felix Morton. Felix? I've never heard of him. He must have been before my time, or after. I wish there was more I could do for you. 
I'm sure I'll manage somehow. Good luck. Yeah. What can I do for you, Miss? Yeah, Has somebody walked past here recently? Not that I've noticed, but as you know, my eyes aren't too sharp these days. My landlord, Felix Morton, spied on me and my wife while we slept. I'm trying to find him. Felix? I've never heard of him. Sounds more like a matter for the police to handle. My wife is calling them at the moment. I'm sure they can help you out better than I can. I wish there was more I could do for you. I'm sure I'll manage somehow. Good luck. Uh, what was the last option? Just that we don't want to... Oh, nothing. Never mind. Okay. And... That was not very helpful, was it? Mm. Uh, well. Okay. Hmm. That didn't really teach us anything at all. Uh. Okay, so far so good, but we still need to figure out figure this one out. Hmm. Maybe we need to... Uh... Ah. Okay, well, we are kind of out of time actually, I think, so we'll have to continue this last uh, next time. So thank you very much for watching and uh, please do take care everyone. So, as always, happy gaming!